So when we do that heat policy that gives you the extra time in the breaks, shouldn't the common sense also say you change that interchange cap instead of 90, maybe make it 110 to give you five extra a quarter to ease the plate? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's, it's probably the AFL control the heat policy and, and the decision was extra minutes to, to allow the, the players to recover at the break. And it's all about player safety and, and so forth. And I would have thought if it got much hotter than that today, it, it probably would have been a challenge. Um, but again, I'll leave that to the AFL. They, they govern the, the game and they govern the rules around how we play. And uh, the extra two minutes is probably helpful just to allow the players that, that extra break to, to get cool at the, uh, the, the quarter time and half time. But, but would it make sense to rethink the cap on a hot day? Uh, it's uh, probably a challenge because you've got to then look at it across the rest of the the fairness across the industry, I would have thought. If the, you know, for one particular day with extra heat, does you allow extra rotations? What happens for games that are in Darwin and such? Is, you know, there's, there's a ripple of all those decisions, I think. Was, 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 he, was he close at all? You spoke about late in the week that he was close. When did you make that call? Yeah, he was really close. And to be honest with you, it probably came down to a decision you know, with a bit of medical intervention as well. I mean, it's, it's one of those things where he trained fully on Thursday. Um, he had some awareness, and always some awareness is, ling, rings a little bit of an alarm bell. Uh, he trained with us again on Saturday, and then you know, he was fairly confident, but we, we probably just felt the risk was too great. And the, the hardest part you've got with a hamstring injury is you can't actually test it at genuine game speed where you're being asked to repeat effort, fatigue, uh, change direction, kick left and right foot. So um, I guess a bit of experience suggested to us and the advice from the medicos was probably give him, a, give him another week, so um, he should be fine for next week, which is, which is a positive. You had Lever and Thompson come back through the Sanford trial against yep. Woodville West Torrens. Lever ball reports are very good, Thompson so-so. Where are they in the mix for the Hawthorne game? Yeah, well, look, it was great. They got a game under their belt. They got 80-odd uh, minutes each, which was fantastic in terms of you know, their first hit out for the year. Um, Jake's both played reasonably. You know, again, I watched the game yesterday, and there were some good signs there. So, look, they'll be they'll be around in the mix. Um, I'd suggest, in fairness to the guys who played today, they've they've done a fair bit in terms of earning a spot for next week. So, um, but it's great to be getting some of those players back, um, a number of other guys as well.